Greetings, welcome back to Black Bear News, where we are discussing climate change, abrupt climate change, and things adjacent. And if you are tuning in, you are probably smarter than the average bear. Uh, bringing you a couple things today, just a few things. Hurricane Lorenzo. This is from yesterday, but this is still an ongoing situation. Hurricane Lorenzo sets record as strongest storm observed so far north and east in the Atlantic. Hurricane Lorenzo has set records as it blasts its way through the central Atlantic, becoming a Category 5 hurricane on Saturday night before weakening back down to Category 3 status by Sunday evening. The National Hurricane Center reported late on Saturday night that Lorenzo had become the strongest hurricane on record this far north and east in the Atlantic Basin. Uh, as of 5 p.m. AST on Sunday, the center wrote that maximum sustained winds are near 115 miles per hour with higher gusts. Gradual weakening is expected over the next couple days. Setting records. Again, hurricanes... Setting records. Uh, again, weather situations setting records. Again, temperatures setting records. Um, we're obviously in a state of escalating climate extremes and climate disasters, and this is where we're at. Uh, you know, if, we're, if we are going to do something about this, we're going to have to do it really, really soon. Um, that being said, let's move on to this article that might be laughable. I kind of just have skimmed through this. There might be some useful things in here. There might be some not so useful things, but the, the important thing is to have the conversation, I think. Um, and I can't really drive home the point enough that we have to continue having the conversation um, in all, you know, there's this great debate going on in, I don't know what you'd call it, the climate change world or whatever you want to call it, the doomosphere or the, you know, people who are aware of climate change and how bad it is or how bad it is getting or, you know, uh, or if you understand the fact that we are in very dire straits. Uh, the, the important thing is to continue having the conversation. I the only problem I really have with the conversation about, you know, climate change is there's nothing we can do and that's it. Let's shut it down or just shut ourselves off or just just you know really just getting it get into talking about how bad it is sorry if my talk of solutions or fa you know uh my entertaining of ideas about how we could probably go forward or possibly go forward if that's upsetting to people or annoying to people i, I don't know what to tell you that's kind of what this channel is about among other things, there's lots of things that this channel is about, but that's one of them is if we are going to go forward, if we had any chance at all of turning this around, then what is it? What does it look like? <clears throat> you know, because there's nothing worse than possibly there, there could be nothing in my mind worse than possibly having some kind of window if we still have a window, some kind of pause, some kind of uh, negative feedback in the system, some kind of, right? If we all just sat down and said, like, that's it, it's over, and 10 years from now we're all still here, uh, I would be, for one, really, really upset that we didn't actually try and do something uh, or st to st – uh, turn the tide on some level. But anyways, experts say that there are 36 ways to have, have global emissions by 2030. There's 
Let's see what they got to say, these experts. There's still hope if we act fast. Experts write in the new Exponential Climate Action Roadmap. There's an Exponential Climate Action Roadmap. Didn't even know such a thing existed as the climate crisis continues to show its hand through catastrophic fires, scorching summers, powerful hurricanes, and melting Arctic ice. A debate rages as to how we should respond. And it's a worthy debate. Hopefully it won't take too long because we don't have a lot of time. So uh, the other terrible thing that we could possibly do is spend the next three or four or five years debating on what things we should be doing. We should be debating all these things right now because action should be taken like right now. Some recently, some recently, Jonathan Franzen writing in the New Yorker suggests we should accept what they say is now an unstoppable impending catastrophe, but many others from scientists to those taking part in the global climate strikes this week and next st- say there is still hope. <clears throat> those advocating optimism can find support in a new study published on Thursday, which says the world can have its greenhouse gas emissions by 2030 if it concentrates on 36 key solutions. Not just one, not two, not three, but 36, including solar and wind power, electric cars, and reduced red meat consumption. The Exponential Climate Action Roadmap, compiled by 55 experts across science, academia, policy, and consultancy, aims to serve as a plan of action to keep the world within 1.5 degrees Celsius of warming. I don't know how that's possible because we're probably at 1.5. Some people say we're already past that. Uh, I, for one, would like to see us maybe, you know, not get to three or four, which means likely certain extinction. Is it possible? Uh, We're going to need a whole lot of coordination. It's going to be very coordinated. A very coordinated effort, which doesn't seem to be happening on any level right now. Beyond this, the possibility of the world tipping into unstoppable and catastrophic climate change becomes much more likely. These ideas are not new, and many are already happening. It's the pace of change that's the problem. While solutions exist, the report says the scale of transformation requires system-wide action accelerated by climate leadership, much stronger policy, finance, and exponential technologies. Here's a look at some of the report's key suggestions. Solar and wind are cheaper. Stop propping up fossil fuels. Okay, so that's that's great. That's good. However, we know that solar there are problems with solar and wind. Uh, I would also suggest that we learn how to live with less, not only less energy, but less people using less energy, right? So we're in system overshoot. Um, The problem is that is the demand, the demand side. There's a lot of people that want this energy or need this energy. So how do we stem the tide for the need of the energy? Embrace electric cars. This is really very dubious. We have the technology and the capability to reduce transport emissions to zero, according to the report, which says that if rapid growth of electric cars is allowed to continue, 90% of cars could be electric by 2030. That's a, a terrible idea. That's actually because producing all of those electric cars are, are going to require what fossil fuels are going to what increase emissions that's a bad idea uh we need to greatly reduce driving period we need to get cars off the road period at the end of this little you know so they're like yay there's great things happening better mass transit and a move away from private car ownership to sharing are also recommended so that is that's actually the way to go um Actually, outright banning private ownership of cars would be a really big step because it would force people to to share cars or, you know, we could limit the amount of cars actually on the road. I know that's just, you know, head explosion to even think like, oh, banning private cars. That actually should be accepted and that should be done not five years from now or 10 years from now. That should be done in like next year or the first year that Bernie Sanders takes office. Yay. Uh, it's no secret that the food system is broken. Food and agriculture is a dark horse in the fight against cr- climate change, so that's also true. Diet is a pressure point, raft of recent studies. So obviously, you know, switching to a, 
A non-meat-based diet is helpful. Again, the demand, it's the demand side for all of this food that we are growing, that is a big problem. Obviously, the way that we grow the food is also a big problem. The demand side is a big problem. How, again, this whole thing leaves out educating people on the necessity to learn how to live with less. All of these, all of these policies could be helped by learning to live with less. Make industry less dirty, okay, yeah. Again, new technology, blah, blah, blah. This is a techno fix is not going to be it. I'm just not even going to read any of this. Stronger emission standards, and especially for climate intensive industries such as steel, they're not even going to go to the point of shutting down industry. So, again, it's not about transforming industry, it's about shutting it down. Give power to the people. This is a okay. Social movements are part of the change, according to the report. Mentions the Fridays for Future movement, kicked off by teenage climate activist Greta Thunberg, Tinberry. I keep on saying it. My dog's name is Thunder, so I'm saying Thun Thun all the time. So I think I'm just like, I can't stop saying Thun. Dad. But I I call my dog Thunderberries, so it's kind of a cross between Toonberry and Thunder. Uh... So I don't know. I'm going to link this below. It's, you know, mostly laughable and uh, not very helpful. But this, you know, the discussion is the part, you know, we need to really like start educating people on the fact that like no switching to a green economy is kind of not really what we need to do. We need to actually transform our entire system. Uh, and by transform, I mean shut it down, shut down a lot of our system and transform our lifestyles into living a very low, uh, low consumption, low carbon intensive, uh, regional, local, growing our own food, organic, and not having to have this entire infrastructure. It's the infrastructure that's the problem. And, you know, building out an entire new infrastructure, you know, based on renewable energy is, is almost a, as much of a death sentence as anything else so that's all i have for you today thank you so much for your eyes your ears and your conscience if you would like to support this channel you can do so at the links below until next time peace